Today in the news, we got some Zen 3 reconfirmations and Renoir pricing. Yep, it's an all AMD day. What's up guys, I'm Snows and this is your boot sequence. In AMD news, we got yet another confirmation of the timeline for AMD's next generation CPU architecture. In a recent video posted on Twitter, Lisa Su talked about the one year anniversary of the Ryzen 3000 series for desktops and even shared a pretty weird anecdote. Or I even got a letter the other day of someone who had named their first child Ryzen. So uh, pretty amazing, but I think it says a little bit about uh, how much excitement there is for Ryzen in the marketplace. Anyways, at the end of the video, which is clearly aimed at mainstream consumers, Lisa Su confirmed once again that Zen 3 is on track, that it's looking great in the labs, and that it is coming later this year. Also in AMD news, some Renoir chips have surfaced again, this time with some pricing information too. All of this info comes from Twitter user Hi-Fi Hedgehog, and as any leaks coming from a single source, it's important to take it with a grain of salt. First is the 4700G. Not only has the part been spotted with all of its specs, but an overclocked version has also been spotted from IT Cooker. The overclock brings the chip from its boost clock of 4.4 gigahertz up to 4.765 gigahertz. Now that is 7% over the single core boost of that chip. And this is an all core boost, as you can see from the clocks reported right here. This is insanely impressive and makes me think AMD might have used the N7P process from TSMC, which doesn't require too many design changes. We unfortunately don't know what kind of cooling solution is used for this CPU though, and I'm curious to see how far it can go with per CCX overclocking on top of that. The next leak for the 4000 series of APUs is the pricing. Now the pricing is not for the 4000G series, but rather for the Pro 4000Gs. Starting at the quad core SKUs, the Ryzen 3 Pro 4350G, which shares the same specs as the Ryzen 3 4200G, was found for $141 USD. The six core Ryzen 5 Pro 4650G, which shares the same specs as the 4400G, was found for $204 USD, and the 8 core Ryzen 7 Pro 4750G was found for $302. Now, those prices are for CPUs either sold in trays or with coolers and likely for OEMs. As is written in the title, tray means tray and MPK means with cooler. But unfortunately, it doesn't seem like it's going to be available as PIB or product in boxes, which is what we, the consumers, buy. Nevertheless, while tray CPUs are usually less expensive, the Pro models also usually cost more so these costs could be offset and give us a more accurate view of the retail pricing anyways that's not too much of an issue though since their counterparts the 4200g 4400g and 4700g are going to be available to the public if these prices translate though they are going to be a pretty good value proposition the quad core 4200g would blast past the 3200g in cpu intensive tasks thanks to the hyper threading being enabled and its faster cpu clocks as for the graphics, meh. The Vega cores have 2% more teraflops and will benefit from better memory thanks to the faster Infinity Fabric Clock, but unfortunately, it is going to struggle against something like a 3400G given its 11 compute units. As for the 4400G, it might struggle in graphics against the 3400G with about 23% less raw teraflops, but you're getting two extra cores, which is a pretty good value for an APU at $200. And lastly, the 4700G would crush the 3400 G with eight cores and about 10% more T-flops on the graphics side. Now I know that T-flops is not everything and yes we're comparing Vega to Vega but Renoir will benefit from other things like the faster infinity fabric clock speeds which would either close the gap or make it bigger depending on which CPUs we're talking about. Now despite the way smaller cache size of these APUs the value proposition of a stopgap system so for example buying an APU now and upgrading to a GPU later seems pretty interesting at these prices. Plus, these look like they could overclock way better as we saw earlier. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. And that is pretty much it for the catch up on the AMD side. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here. So subscribe to the channel, stay frosty my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.
dive.